Twitter board members are pushing back after Elon Musk announced a bid to buy the company yesterday. They're considering a plan known as a poison pill in response that would dilute the stake Musk holds by either releasing more into the market or allowing other existing shareholders to buy at a discount. Musk recently became Twitter's largest shareholder after acquiring just over 9% of the company. The FBI says North Korean hackers were behind a huge cryptocurrency theft. The American video game company Sky Mavis first announced the loss last month. The hackers made off with more than $600 million worth of crypto. Investigators say the suspects are connected to the North Korean government. And the FDA has authorized the first coronavirus breath test. It provides results within just three minutes. However, health officials say a positive result still needs to be confirmed with a second test. The company that makes the breath test says it will produce about 100 machines per week. And Monday is tax day, which means if you haven't filed yet, this weekend could be your last chance to do so. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us now. Jill, thanks for joining us. Tax day is not my favorite day. Let's start with people who have already filed. The IRS says it is experiencing a massive backlog in processing returns dating back to last season. How could that impact this year's returns? Because of being short on staff, and their staff has been reduced drastically over the last decade because of budget cuts, as well as the flood of returns that had errors or inconsistencies, that that backlog is likely to persist this tax season. Now, here's the good news. If you are filing electronically and there are no errors on your return, no one needs to look at it, you should receive the processing and any refund that could be due within 21 days. So that's really why the IRS continues to say, please, please file electronically. It is the fastest, most secure and safest way to get through this process. Jill, some people wait to file because they simply don't have the cash to pay out taxes due. What can people in that situation do? I think this is incredibly important. I hear from folks all the time who I, I say, well, why did you wait till the last weekend? And they often will tell me it's because I owed taxes, but I didn't have the money to pay. Well, the IRS has a number of different ways for you to think about paying. So the first is that you can do a short term extension, four months, up to four months that you can get to pay your taxes. And this is no fees. So it's really important to remember that I've got a little leeway in a short-term plan. There's also a long-term plan where you enter into what's called an installment agreement with the IRS. And low fees for this, you know, it's less than 100 or 200 bucks, but it puts you on track to pay on a monthly basis the taxes that you're due. There's one last way, I feel like I shouldn't even say it, but it is available. It's credit card or a debit card. And I'm worried that people who owe taxes will choose a credit card to pay the bill. And that, unfortunately, is the highest cost of paying your taxes. And also, we know that people just don't pay it off that quickly. So please, if possible, the short term or the long term plans are the ones for you. Jill, such interesting advice and, and some I hadn't heard before. Thank you so much. Sure.